What's going on friends and welcome to today's video. As you guys can see right now, I am out the front of, that's right, a tattoo parlor because I am getting my first ever tattoo. And obviously you've clicked on this video because you have wondered, as an airline pilot or pilot in general, or even cabin crew, because yes, my wife, Em, shout out, is me. cabin crew. So we're gonna answer the question, can you have a tattoo? As aviation crew. Yeah, so let's find out. Here we are, fine line of tattoos with Zoe, tattoo artist. Hello. My first ever tattoo, as you guys are about to see, all going down. I don't know how much it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Tommy, our videographer here, has had a few. So it's not too bad, so we'll see how we go. So, I'll do a little bit just so you get a feel for it. If you need me to stop at any point or anything like that, you let me know. Um, I actually do a lot of first tattoos. I've done. One or two. Yeah. So we'll start with... Let's get with your lip, bro. How is it? It's alright. It doesn't tickle, but it's alright. It's, it's rough, but it's definitely... Um, it's like a bear. Is it like you imagined? Um, it's probably worse than I imagined, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, the figure is not a fun time. It's not a good, like you wouldn't sign up to just enjoy it. No. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit deadly. I mean, I can imagine if you're getting a full sleeve. Or... The fingers are actually more painful oh, really? than the arm. Yeah, so don't, don't cut yourself short there. Yeah. Sorry, where's the most painful spot, do you reckon? Uh, back of the knee or sternum. Yeah. Easily. They suck. Like, nowhere's great. Some <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a proper clean up and then I'll grab some pictures as well. But yeah, apart from that, congrats. You did great. <laughs> <laughs> nice and quick too. Yeah, so. yeah. I've had a lot of messages asking about this topic. Can you still be a pilot or cabin crew and have a tattoo? So today we're going to answer that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that experience of me getting my first tattoo. And yes, it is a few days now after uh, I've had it. So the second skin is currently off and it's just some like tattoo cream on the tattoo there. It's healing up well so far and I'm really, really stoked with it. Obviously my wedding ring will still go on top of that occasionally as well. Majority of the time it's still going on top of it to be honest with you. I guess reflecting back on it, it did hurt more than I was expecting. But, you know, the tattoo artist did say that finger tattoos do hurt more than probably you'd expect. So, you know, I'll take that. But doing some research for this video, I actually found out that 38% of the world's population has one or more tattoo, and then obviously that leaves 62% that have no tattoos. I have wanted a tattoo, to be honest, for probably about 10 years, and this one obviously is very, very special to me, having my wife's handwriting. Yes, Em actually handwritten her name, Emily, and then the tattoo artist took a photo of that, printed it out into a stencil, obviously, and then tattooed that onto me. So now that is obviously on my ring finger forever, and I'm really stoked with it. It's healing really well, actually. But anyway, the reason you've clicked on this video I'm sure is because you as a pilot or cabin crew are wondering can you have a tattoo as crew and I guess you know the answer is a little bit obvious right now because I'm a pilot and I've just got a tattoo so the answer is yes you can have a tattoo as pilot and cabin crew this may change obviously depending on your airline and where you are in the world but here in Australia you can have a tattoo but it has to be covered or be able to be covered whether that's with an object so such as like a watch if it's on your wrist or a ring or if it's somewhere on your arm, you know, if you want to have a full sleeve, you could have a full sleeve if you really want to, but you're going to be wearing long sleeve shirts 
for the rest of your days in aviation, most likely. I'm talking, I guess, maybe airlines here, maybe some sort of general aviation type jobs, probably have potentially have a little bit different rules and stuff. Or if you can cover it with makeup, so I don't know where, somewhere on your body, you might be able to cover it with makeup, then yes, you can. Obviously, you know, if it's on your chest or your back, your ankle even, you know what I'm talking, it's gonna be pretty easily coverable, you know, with pants, your shirts. But you know, if you're gonna have a face or neck tattoo, you know, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, it is your life, live it as you will, but that may be a bit hard to cover day to day. I'll leave that one up to you. Further to that, maybe just some things to keep in mind, or maybe these are things that you already would have thought of, and maybe these are just very obvious. But if you have like a full on sleeve tattoo that goes all the way down to like, you know, your wrist or something like that, then you're gonna have to wear a long sleeve shirt, at least while you're at work, obviously, anyway, to cover that. Your airline or employer may be totally fine with that, and that is okay, obviously, but just keep in mind that you will obviously then have to be wearing that long sleeve shirt for the rest of your days in aviation, whether it's hot or cold or wherever you are in the world, and that may be totally fine. As well, please don't take that as me saying you shouldn't have any tattoos obviously on your arm or lower down your arm because that's not necessarily my opinion and that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just maybe trying to give you guys some ideas that maybe you haven't thought of already. If you have, then you know, it is what it is. But I guess what I'm trying to say with that is maybe there's a bit of that old school mentality out there. Tattoos and pilots or cabin crew don't go hand in hand with the professional look. And again, I don't necessarily agree with that opinion and I'm not saying obviously to not get a tattoo. I've said that already, but I just want to make that crystal clear. That's not what I'm saying because you know, I would be very hypocritical because I have gone and got a tattoo and that may or may not be my last tattoo actually. But I hope that has helped answer the question that you guys have asked me a fair bit over the last year or two. I guess yeah, now finally it was a great time to answer the question after me getting my own tattoo as well and be able to share that experience with you guys. So hopefully that has helped answer the question. If you guys do have any more questions that maybe I haven't answered yet, I'll do my best to answer them as always. If you comment them down below, I'll do my best to get back to you guys and obviously with my knowledge and what I may be able to find out, I'll share that with you guys as well. But finally, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. I know if you're watching this right now, you've made it to the end of the video and you guys are the real MVP. So thank you for that. And thank you guys for always coming with me along the years and along this journey with me. I am really, really grateful for it. I don't take it for granted at all and it's a really exciting time right now. Em and I are actually going away in a few days time. Obviously you're going to be vlogging that and there's already a vlog coming out the week after this one. So if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll be the first to be notified when that new video does go live. But yeah, I've got some really, really exciting things coming up. I haven't wanted to be that guy to preempt or say, you know, something exciting is coming up when it may not actually be coming up. But I've just had a meeting this week and 100% it is now going ahead. So I can't tell you what it is yet because it's still in development. It's still going to be a few weeks away till it is ready and obviously for me to go through it. Make sure it's all 100% to go and then obviously the launch will be hopefully within the next uh, month or so. Really exciting project coming up and I can't wait for you guys to be a part of it and come with me on that journey as well. So I know you guys, again, are the real MVPs to make it this far into the video. So thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching. Hope wherever you are in the world, you're keeping well and keeping safe. I'll see you guys next video.